Good morning, you guys. Not me starting off 75 hard by sleeping through my workout class. <laughs> I just, I think I set my alarm too early for the class, so I was like, oh, I have more time, and then the next time I woke up, it was 8.15, and that's when my workout class was supposed to start, so that was unfortunate, but I'm gonna go on a little run instead, because the thing about 75 hard is that you can't let anything get you down, no matter what's going on. Why not get a little run in this morning? So, I changed into this free people set and let's go get a run in to kick off 75 hard. First run of the year. I did a very easy pace run. I think I did 5.3 speed on the treadmill, which is like over an 11 minute mile pace. And I just ran a mile. So it was a quick and easy run, but I haven't ran since like November, I wanna say. So I wanted to be easy on myself. Running is really just such a good workout. Like I feel, obviously that's not the equivalent of like an entire hours workout class but you really are working your entire body when you're running that was a great first workout to kick off 75 hard even though i did that because i slept through my workout class but you know it's okay let's shower i'm going to brunch with vicente at cafe roby they invited us in so i'm excited it's like my favorite brunch spot in the city let's get ready Alrighty, let's go to Cafe Roby. back from brunch it was so good i'm so cozy in this hat i don't want to take it off but i just love cafe Roby. i got just like the traditional breakfast plate with gluten-free bread and a latte and it's just so delicious i'm obsessed i'm probably going to take advantage of having some makeup on right now and film some stuff for social media i need to film a haul of this lululemon stuff i got and unbox my nespresso machine my neutral bullet so that is the plan what is up you guys i just got so much stuff done it's kind of crazy so another thing for 75 hard also i think i just need to like tell you guys what i'm doing for 75 hard because i haven't even established that also if you're new i'm lucia i'm 24 i live in chicago and i work 9 to 5 in advertising and i obviously have this youtube channel i do content a bunch of other things but anyway i'm very focused on like wellness and i thought it'd be really fun to do a 75 hard challenge to just like incorporate these habits that I've been really trying to incorporate for a while into my routine, but I keep on like making excuses every day. So I figured just like doing a challenge will help hold me more accountable because I've just, I just like haven't been. So 75 hard Lucia's version. We are doing 75 straight days of two workouts a day. I know most people do 75 hard and they make one of the workouts have to be outdoors. You guys, it's been like in the negatives in Chicago. I am not spending more time outside than I need to. So like maybe when it gets to March, like I'll incorporate more outdoor workouts. But for now, we're keeping them inside because like that's just crazy. I can't do that. 10K steps a day. I've been trying to do this for so long and I haven't like actually done it yet. And like I do get 10K steps sometimes, but it's not a consistent thing. So I really want to just like try to figure out how I can do that. Journaling and affirmations or just like journaling, but like kind of how I do my journaling is I write down affirmations, read my little daily stoic book, do a little reflection and then write down what I'm grateful for. And this little book, I just did that this afternoon, which is nice. So that's checked off the list for the day. And then my other thing is no alcohol, which I've already been really good about not doing. So that's not necessarily like a new habit for me, but I'm just going to be a bit more intense 
intentional about not having alcohol for this time period and that i feel like is gonna be really easy because i already haven't been doing that because of when i was on accutane so yeah that is 75 hard lucia's version there's other like habits that i'm like working on but it's not really like a part of the challenge like making coffee at home i unboxed my espresso machine just now and stuff like that like cooking but i'm not really pressed about that for 75 hard so those are my 75 hard goals i'm excited to just like vlog about it on my youtube channel i'm obviously it's just gonna be like a part of my daily life so if you guys want to follow along maybe pick up some of these two do your own like little challenge if it's 30 days a week whatever i just think it's a fun way to kind of get into the new year grind i mean i know it's already like we're well into the new year but i had a slower start to the new year i think ideally you know i would have started this on january 1st but like you can start fresh whenever the f you want to you don't have to do it on january 1st and january 3rd is when i had like my whole skin treatment and i was out of commission for a while so i really took a relaxed start to the year and this is kind of my way to reset on my own timeline so this is your sign you can do it whenever you want i feel like everyone was starting 75 hard january 1st if they were doing it and that just wasn't my timeline so do whatever timeline works for you <laughs> but really it's just about incorporating these habits into my daily routine and you know if i don't get it one day it's totally fine i just i really do want to try to hold myself accountable and share this journey with you guys so let's do it i'm gonna take off my makeup because i want to let my skin breathe a little bit and then i'll probably do some stuff on my computer but wait let me just show you guys the machines that i was unboxing earlier because i'm excited it's like a brand new kitchen in here we have a new bullet now slay i also ended up having to move the toaster over here which i don't like love but i I just don't know where else to put it because it was way too cramped over here because we have the Keurig and the Nespresso. Like a little coffee station here. <laughs> kind of insane. It's exciting. I'm so excited to get this Nespresso all started. Just need to like read all the manuals and figure it all out. But it looks so good. It's already 5.30. I'm like, where did the day go? But I've been editing a YouTube video and I'm really hungry. So I'm going to make myself a yogurt parfait. Made my yogurt parfait and gonna put it on while watching a vlog. Snack break over and back to editing we go. I think I'm gonna pop open a poppy. Vicente is about to go on a run, so I was like, it's a perfect time for me to do my second workout of the day. I'm gonna go join him in the gym and do a little virtual replay of a vinyasa foot class because my membership at my studio includes replays and it's like a full log of classes. So it'll be exciting. Also, I totally forget that I have these headphones, these like beats that go over the ear because like it's just my ears are so bad at like keeping AirPods in my ears if I'm like doing any sort of workout. Like it's fine for walking and just like working, but I can't wear them if i'm like running or like doing yoga or anything like that so i remembered i had these i was like wait this is perfect i can use them to listen to my class with workout number two of the day also i wanted to chat about the diet part of 75 hard because i know a lot of people like the traditional 75 hard is like you have a diet of your choice so for me i'm not doing that because my diet is already so restrictive with celiac and having to eat gluten-free so i just feel like i i'm already like always so concerned about what i'm eating and like worried about cross-contamination and just like triple checking everything is gluten-free and i don't want to add like another thing to the mix 
because honestly that's just too much brain power for me to be worried about in terms of like food stuff and i don't really want to add another thing to the mix so i'm not doing a diet part of 75 hard and that is why back to editing okay guys i decided to move to my walking pad because i completely forgot that i have to get my 10k steps in i'm well, not have to i get to because that's what i'm you know trying to build a habit of doing and unfortunately just by walking around today i'm not quite at 10k steps i feel like it's not tracking my phone doesn't track like completely all of my steps i need to start wearing my apple watch more but right now i'm at about 4k steps so i think i'm just gonna walk for like let's see okay if i walk at two miles per hour let's see how many miles is 10,000 steps five miles okay so if i do two miles per hour like a whole hour of walking that i'd have to do to get the rest because i think i don't know guys this is just a guesstimate i need to be better about tracking it but we're just gonna walk for like 30 minutes to an hour whatever works i would never like go on my walking pad on a saturday so like just doing this is like in and of itself <laughs> a crazy thing so let's do it done well i didn't finish editing my video but i got a lot of it done and i walked for like an hour and 15 minutes i think which is such a long time we did it guys so we got my guesstimated 10k steps and i'm gonna be better about tracking it but i'm like pretty sure i got 10k steps i feel like i overestimated to make sure i got it so i think we're good there and that was like so easy i don't know why it was like such a foreign concept for me to use my walking pad on like a saturday but like it was but here we are and it was so easy so there you go 10k steps done i think i've done all the things today journaling two workouts ran this morning did my vinyasa flow class and then 10k steps i don't know why it counted to four like in the weirdest way but yay oh my god okay i'm gonna go make my salad i'm like starving salad is ready and football is on. All right, guys, I just did my skincare and I'm gonna go to sleep. I have a ballet class in the morning. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get all my stuff ready for that and I'll see you guys then. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I'm about to go head out to my ballet class. I'm excited. ballet it was a really really fun class really good workout and it was great i'm feeling so happy that i went i need to take a shower but i also really want to make a latte from my espresso machine but actually now that i think about it i'm gonna go ahead and shower first and then make my latte after so let's do it okay i completely <laughs> made the coffee wrong i did like a full cup of coffee rather than espresso but we're figuring it out it still tastes delicious and then we got some avocado bagel let's eat just been chilling in my robe editing for youtube behind on the video i need to post today but it's time to get ready with centina are going to this like heated igloo thing which i'm excited about my legs like i can already feel them getting sore from ballet like ballet is a workout unlike any other your muscles 
will feel it for days if you're like not in the routine of doing ballet. But that's why it's a good workout to do. It's also just like, it's fun. It's fun to dance as a workout and like go back to a technique that you liked when you were younger. I was never like an intense ballet dancer, but I took a ton of ballet classes in high school to help with like my dance technique for musical theater. And ever since then, I just loved it. I did it when I was like younger too, but like it wasn't really my thing. But I just like really loved it in high school, even though I was never like landing triple pirouettes or anything. Like it was not really that good, but it was like a good way for me to learn technique and be good at like dancing for musical theater. And I just love it. I think tap is probably my favorite dance form and that's the one that's like easier to pick up and learn especially if you have like a musical background which i did and that one i feel like i actually was like pretty good at and like on the level of most of the girls in my studio had been dancing their entire life but ballet i was never really the best at but it's because it's just like it takes so much time to get really good at ballet but i just like love it so much it's so fun and i feel like it's so healing to go do ballet because i feel like that's the one thing where i'm not like i don't have like a ton of pressure to be like good at it <laughs> it's just like fun but yeah really really works your muscles too so that's another plus but yeah i'm gonna start getting ready for the centimes liner I've always wanted to go on one of these heated igloo things and Kennedy Rooftop invited us to go and it just looks literally so yummy and just like so cute and the rooftop has like an amazing view of Chicago and it's been on my bucket list for a while so we're gonna check it off. Time for the makeup. Okay guys, I'm all ready. The left side of my hair was not cooperating, so we're just gonna disregard that. But this is the look. This cream white sweater, the same one I was wearing yesterday actually, but just styled differently with this skirt, tights, and thigh high boots. So cozy, I'm excited. Oh, and I also put a bow in the back of my hair. We made it to the igloo. <laughs> It's so fun in here. It's very, very warm. back from the Kennedy rooftop. It was really yummy. People go there more for like the views and the experience, but the food honestly was like so good, which I was like, I wasn't thinking it was gonna be bad, but I was like, the food was delicious. So, and I had this mocktail. It was a margarita mocktail, blackberry, which was so yummy. And I still need to finish my YouTube video. It's like 5.15 now. I need to also track how many steps I've gotten in today. I feel like we've been walking around like a little bit, but I'll probably have my second workout be a walk anyway, maybe like 12, 3.30 or something like that. So <laughs> it'll be like a two for one in terms of getting the rest of my steps in. I also still need to journal and affirm slash like journaling, that's what I'm calling it for my rules. But yeah, I still need to do that. But also I just need to do some Sunday things. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a load in, finish up my YouTube video, and then we'll get on the, the walking grind after all of that has been done, which might take a couple hours. So let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I finished my YouTube video. I'm excited. Now I just have to export, upload, do my thumbnail and post, which is the whole process. But while I'm waiting for it to export, I'm gonna do some cleaning up because I just have like clutter everywhere and we need to get rid of it. Also, I need to switch out the laundry and I wanna wash my hats and scarves because I just like washing those every week because they're like up against my face so much. I know that's probably a little obsessive, but just like after going through so much with my skin, I like, I don't risk anything. I'm like, I'm gonna wash my hats that are touching my skin every week which i feel like is just like i don't think it's a bad i think it's a normal thing to do i feel like people just don't wash their scarves and hats as much because it's like it's a lot to keep up with and i'm just not letting anything <laughs> that's like in my control mess up my skin after all of the time and money i have spent trying to not have acne anymore so here we go <laughs> I just got a bunch of cleaning done. I still need to clean the bathroom, but I'm gonna go for a quick little walk. I got the majority of my steps in, but I still need some more. Plus I need to go on my second workout of the day. Like almost forgot, I'm doing 75 hard. I also still need to do my journaling and affirmations. You guys, the day has gotten the best of me today. So we're gonna go run and do that real quick. Let's go. Okay guys, I cleaned the bathroom. <laughs> my camera is just like retired for the night. So I'm setting up the vlog here on my phone. Thanks for hanging out with me this weekend as I started 75 hard with Chia's version. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be just like, you know, doing it every day in like my weekly vlogs. So if you guys wanna follow along, subscribe so you don't miss it. I post every Sunday and Wednesday. And thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>